You know, it's long been suspected that, uh, you know, Disney and other Hollywood companies had, you know, have a disdain for conservatives. This is not an, a new and interesting thing to say. This isn't news. This isn't uh, breaking news. It's not even video worthy. However, it would appear that according to a new whistleblower, Disney systematically persecuted conservative employees but and also compensated employees based on how woke they virtue signaled. This could be a potential massive lawsuit, uh, if true, and uh, something that could bring down kind of the woke orthodoxy pretty quickly. And we're going to get into all that after a super quick word from this video sponsor. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Private Internet Access. Look, it's 2023. If you don't have a VPN, you're missing out on a ton of benefits, not just a more secure connection, but if you're paying for Netflix, Disney Plus, or any other streaming service, you're already getting locked out of a ton of additional content that you could be enjoying if you used a VPN. And since they've been sponsoring the channel so long, they've rolled out a massive discount for my viewers. That's right, 84% off plus four months free. It's $2.03 a month, four months free, 84% off. Private internet access also offers privacy on all your devices, lightning fast global server network. And look, outside of all the additional content you're gonna be able to view out there using private internet access, it also has a strict no logs policy it's open source. It has state-of-the-art updates. It's instant to set up. You can put it on all of your devices, your tablet, your computer, your mobile phones. It has unlimited bandwidth and so much more. If you don't have a VPN yet, make today the day. Use my link in the description to get private internet access, start being more secure, and unlock loads more content. Okay, this article on boundingintocomics.com. Disney whistleblower claims companies systemically persecuted conservatives also compensated employees based on how woke they virtue signaled. The whistleblower blower supplied a number of documents to a YouTuber and scooper WDW Pro who said, quote, it's now our understanding that at Disney since the summer of 2020, many employees of the company have been required to maintain their various virtuous actions within diversity, equity and inclusion, equity and inclusion. And that diary of and there was a diary of their quote good deeds was part of maintaining their job security. But not only that, but in fact it was tied to their job compensation if you can believe it. I actually can't believe that. That is uh, wildly illegal. <laughs> this is wildly illegal. He added, quote, we're talking about bonuses that you might not receive if you win a foul of Latronda Newton, the prior chief diversity officer of Disney, if you win a foul of her belief systems. Now, this is just a one whistleblower's opinion. I, apparently, WDW Pro is in some sort of possession of documents to support this. Later in the video, WDW Pro shared more information that this alleged whistle, whistleblower provided him, quote, if you espoused, starting in the summer of 2020 and moving forward until today, if you espouse political beliefs in the workplace or outside of the workplace or on social media, and those political beliefs or socio-cultural beliefs did not align with the very far left views, then you could be expected to send, be sent to HR and have some serious conversations and discussions. If this is true, I would expect massive, massive lawsuits massive lawsuits if true i i don't really understand how you could possibly think that you're gonna get away with this like you're you're posting you're posting you're policing your private employees or your employees private social media comments that's what you're policing it's absolutely wild to me. Quote, so if you went beyond not just filling out your Word doc where you had your DEI requirements noted for your MBO document that let's say 
but instead you were actu actually on social media saying that you supported some sort of conservative value that you were going to be brought into HR, he explained. And in doing this, the Walt Disney Company seems to have eliminated the vast majority of their conservative employees and have turned the company into a monolithic kind of state where everyone there is either far to the left or on the spectrum or they are moderate or conservative in hiding. Now, if this is true, if this is true, you know, they're rounding people up into HR uh, if they're not putting pronouns in their email signatures or something. If this is true, you would suspect that there would be hundreds or maybe even thousands of other employees that would be able to corroborate this. That's, I mean, you have to be, you know, as crazy as this is, you know, at this point, now that the whistleblower is out there, you would want to see some more people corroborating this or the documentation that actually corro corroborates this. WDW Pro added, the whistleblower says that if they had known working what working like Disney would be like, that they would have been dev it would have devastated them because they dreamed of working for Disney so long. Once they received the job and they actually worked at Disney, that it was a nightmare and that they never worked at the company at any company like this, and they had them do these things and tied it into their pay. YouTube Road also state there are, there's an individual under Latronda Newton who apparently also instituted a new process by which to hire people and that the hiring process is part of the DEI initiative. He stripped out the need for a significant number of applicants to meet any kind of criteria whatsoever. Also, perhaps there was an effort to make sure such candidates received a higher chance of being approved in large numbers. I'm sure that was, you know, race related. Um, I like, if you're posting things, heinous things, for example, on company time or something like that, I can understand why a company's involved, why they might be concerned. Uh, if you're posting things in your personal private social media when you're not at work and they're bringing you into HR or they're you're either wondering what you're doing or they're punishing you or tying your um, or tying your uh, compensation to that. That's very bizarre, and I feel like that would have to be something that you would agree to in the hiring process. After making these assertions based on information provided to him from the whistleblower, WW, WDW Pro shared a document from Disney Ad Sales that does indeed show one of the management by objectives is to champion diversity, equity, and inclusion. The slide notes say, quote, create an inclusive environment with the opportunities for people to develop and thrive. People managers have further impact and responsibilities to shape DAS culture. In order to achieve this objective, employees are required to quote, personally participate in trainings and other diversity and inclusion initiatives, actively contribute to creating an inclusive and positive team environment, support colleagues from all backgrounds. Dude, how much are they paying people? You would have to pay me a fortune to do this crap. Like, imagine you're just somebody who works at Disney and you're like scooping up popcorn off the ground. They expect you to also do this stuff. They expect you to also do this. It's so wild to me that they would like take extra work on top of this. They provide support opportunities for underrepresented talent to grow in their careers within the Walt Disney Company through opportunities such as mentorship, stretch, and special projects, career conversations. What? Those, uh, for those unfamiliar with MBOs, Investopedia defines them as a strategic management model that aims to improve the performance of an organization by clearly defining objectives that are agreed to by both management and employees. According to this theory, having a say in goal setting and action plans encourages participation and commitment among employees as well as aligning objectives across the organization. The outlet further notes, management by objectives is the establishment of management information systems to compare actual performance and achievements with defined objectives. Based on the information supplied to WDW Pro, from the whistleblower, it appears this was done through what's calling DEI diaries. 
as pointed out by Valiant Renegade in his own video discussing the information from this whistleblower, much of this is not new. It's been very public. John Lafayette at Next TV reported in March 2022 that Walt Disney Company created a Disney Culture Index to measure the outcomes of DEI investments so that advertisers can understand the value of their investment in the space. Not only did they create an index, but the company's president of Disney Advertising Sales detailed that she was hoping to triple the company's $100 million commitments from advertising partners to DEI for 2022. On top of this, Disney's Advertising Senior Vice President of Client Partnerships, John Campbell, noted that the company was committed to promoting <laughs> sodomy through ad campaigns with organizations like Equal Pride earlier this year. Man, <laughs> bounding into comments really took a hard right turn that day. Um, he told Adweek, they were trying to create a systematic and meaningful change in the end. Of course they are. I mean, I, you know, I think that, you know, the rest of the article you should read over on Bounding into Comics, you know, they should get credit for what they, what they did here. But uh, this is totally wild. And uh, I guess not at all surprising to me in, in the least bit. It's, uh, it's totally bizarre. But I'm not surprised still. That's how you know we're truly in the clown world.